wish we hey. could hey. hey. It's me. Nice to meet you. Before Halsey would win three Billboard Music Awards in a single year and be nominated for Grammys, American Music Awards, and Teen Choice Awards. Me and my friends always had MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, so I just treated it the way I would if I was a normal kid, you know? Before Halsey became a prominent voice for victims of sexual assault and people suffering from mental illness. He's got a case of Matchbox cars and he says that he'll teach me to play the guitar if I just keep quiet. Before Halsey's album Hopeless Found Kingdom would hit number one on the US Billboard 200. Halsey lived through some seriously turbulent teen years complete with drug use, homelessness, a suicide attempt, and a heroin addicted boyfriend. Through it all, while music was the major driving force in her life, which kept her pushing forward. She adopted her stage name from a subway stop in Brooklyn, which coincidentally was also an anagram of her first name. Now it was there she began performing acoustic shows to local fans and growing up in a generation of selfies, well Halsey got to work uploading some of her early work to Tumblr, YouTube and SoundCloud. It was there that her song Ghost would go viral, prompting several record labels to come knocking on her door. Since finding fame, a lot of Halsey's early work has been deleted from the internet, but I still have a few gems for you jam packed in this video. Of course, I'm the fact god, I would. Two bottle whiskey for the way. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life and career of Halsey prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They Are Famous. Now you guys requested this videos in the comments down below and back in the day, well we did it Before They Are Famous on G-Eazy, but it was really crummy. So we decided to update it, be sure to check that out as well. Let us know who's next in the comments down below, see you guys after the intro. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Halsey was born Ashley Nicolette Frangipan? Frangipani? Frangipini? I'm glad she changed that. I can't say it. And this was on September 29th, 1994. Now she grew up in a lower middle class family. Her mother, Nicole, is of Italian and Hungarian descent. And her father, Chris, well, he is Irish and black. My faith. Now, Ashley, she was born when her parents were just 20 forcing them to drop out of college and make a home for themselves in Edison, New Jersey. Now her mother, she got a job working security at a hospital, while her father tried out many different careers, including managing a car dealership. Now Ashley, she has two younger brothers, Sevian and Dante. Now Halsey has detailed a lot of what her childhood was like via Instagram. Talking about her father, she captioned a photo like this. I think about the rented apartments for 20 years, every move we made and new elementary school I started so he could get a better job. I think about how he never objected to wanting to paint my walls pink or purple or blue, even though he knew it meant the landlord would keep the security deposit. Her parents had very different tastes in music. Her father, a huge fan of Notorious B.I.G., Slick Rick, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Tupac. While her mother, well, she listened to The Cure, Nirvana, and Alanis Morissette. And these became Halsey's earliest influences. Early, like 1991, Alanis. You know, she is a legend as far as females in pop music go. She got some pretty vulgar content on the radio, and that's that was a mission even back then, way ahead of her time. Halsey discovered her love for the arts at a young age. She had made a short attempt at playing soccer, but after one year, she decided to pick up the violin. From there, she fell in love with music, and it said that it was the single driving force in her life. She picked up many instruments, including the violin, the viola, and the cello, before picking up the acoustic guitar at the age of 14. Now, because the other instruments, well, they weren't that cool anymore. I think we can all understand that. Now Halsey said that she wanted to be the next Alanis Morissette, and like Alanis, well she had a huge interest in writing poetry. She told Rolling Stone magazine, I started writing music as a way to get people to pay attention to my poems. As she got older, she started to develop her own taste in music, with her all-time faves being Taking Back Sunday, brand new, and although she may be embarrassed to admit it, Panic at the Disco. In fact, when I was in university, these were my three all-time faves. Still pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed as well. No, no. Above all of them comes Panic at the Disco. Because <laughs> they were my guilty pleasure fave for life in middle school and high school. She was also a huge fan, of course, of Blink-182. Don't waste your time on me. You're already the voice inside my head. Like I said, I loved all those bands myself. 
Now, in addition to playing music and writing poetry, well, Halsey also did a bunch of theater while attending Warren Hills High School. Okay, so I was uh, the yearbook editor at my high school, and I don't know how I let this one slide, but I got named Best Artist um, for Physical Art. Now, as it does for almost everybody, well, high school, it offered its share of turmoil. A topless photo was stolen from Ashley's locker, and it was shared around the school. Unfortunately, this led to her being labeled a slut. But rather than run from the slut shaming, she kind of embraced it. Along the way, she realized that she was bisexual. Good for her. During an even darker period in high school, while Halsey attempted to commit suicide by overdosing on over-the-counter painkillers. Now, after this, Halsey, she was placed in a psychiatric hospital where she spent 17 days under observation. Now, she was prescribed lithium, which, uh, well, it was a bad experience for her. She stated, Lithium ruined my life. Following high school, Halsey enrolled at the prestigious Rhode Island School of Design. Unfortunately, the cost of the school was too much for her and her family to afford, so she had to leave. She then did a short stint in community college, but eventually she dropped out. Her parents were not happy about it and eventually kicked her out of the house. Now, she was only 17 when she ended up roaming the streets and staying in basements around her native New Jersey and Bed-Stuy neighborhood. That's in Brooklyn. She and her friends would also split what little money they had between them so they could all share a pizza slice. And following that, well, they would spend their time getting high on a rooftop. Now, during her more productive days, she would stay with her grandma, and it was around this time that she began uploading content to YouTube under her real name, Ashley Frangipan. I think. Once upon a time, this album swear debuted. Hailer was conceived. We panicked because we knew. Now that song right there is credited as her most successful YouTube hit, but there were plenty others on their way. Oh, you bought your friend like chocolate. She was also finding herself as an artist, and she needed to find a moniker. Rearrange the letters in Ashley, it spells Halsey. But where Halsey actually comes from is a street in Brooklyn where uh, I informally lived for a little bit and spent a lot of time. She would perform at open mics and even did some traveling, but money, it was always tight. Now there were nights where she was scared for her life, sleeping in some pretty dodgy places, where she feared getting raped or kidnapped. No word was getting around about her talents as a musician, and all of a sudden she was given opportunities to make some money. This is when she met an up and coming producer while at a hotel party. Someone said to me, hey, I know you have a pretty cool voice. If you wanna come in and uh, sing on this song, you can make a couple, like, a couple hundred bucks. And I was like, oh my God, a couple hundred bucks? That's crazy. It was her first time recording in a studio of any kind, but it was during this time that she became inspired to write and record her single, Ghost. This concept of the ghost, of a person who formerly, you know, was someone that you knew and someone who still holds a physical body, but the ghost in them is gone. Speaking on this song, Halsey stated, the concept of the song itself is about being in a relationship with someone who isn't emotionally available. You feel their physical presence, but the emotional one isn't there. The song was an emotional take on the time Halsey had spent dating a heroin addict. A few weeks later, well, Halsey uploaded Ghost to her SoundCloud page, and that was when things really started to change. I had charted on the alternative charts uh, with Ghost, and I didn't even really know what that meant. And uh, we went to New York the next day and we took meetings with five record companies. She was signed to Astral Works and began working on her debut album, which would include hits Ghost, as well as singles New Americana, Colors, and Castle. Badlands, it peaked at number two on the Billboard 200 and was certified platinum by RIAA. Now Halsey ended up opening for the Kooks and Imagine Dragons while on tour. She also appeared as a feature artist on Justin Bieber's track, The Feeling, and the Chainsmokers track Closer back in 2016. And that song, it hit number one in the US and was certified platinum seven times over. That's a lot of success all of a sudden. But that year, she would also suffer a personal setback. She got pregnant while on tour and suffered a miscarriage due to a condition known as endometriosis, I think. Still, Halsey would continue to thrive in 2017, going platinum with her G-Eazy collab, Him and I, double platinum with Now or Never, and triple platinum with Bad at Love. Now, outside of music, Halsey has also become an outspoken advocate for victims of sexual assault, the LGBTQ community, and people suffering from mental health issues. She participated in a suicide prevention and mental health awareness campaign called I'm Listening. She even delivered a stirring speech at the Women's March in New York to more than 200,000 protesters. For the people who had to grow up way too young, there is work to be done. There are songs to be sung. Lord knows there's a war to be won. Halsey has continued to thrive as an artist in 2018 with the release of Alone featuring Big Sean and XXL freshman Stefan Don. 
and Eastside with Benny Blanco, and of course, Khaled. She also recently voiced Wonder Woman in Teen Titans Go to the Movies, and she will appear in the musical romantic comedy A Star is Born. She'll also guest star in the new animated TV series, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who? A gangster. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCred and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. Be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below and I'll be sure to see you guys in another video. Thanks for checking this one out and boom goes the dynamite. Boom!